go it's a good one right there so it's uh definitely uh post frontal conditions tied on a net rig and bam beautiful beautiful fish gorgeous fish let's let her go Beautiful fish. About a two pounder right there. That was quick. Some decent bites today. They're hitting it pretty good. I'm working this bait pretty fast, but there's so such so thick grass here, dude. I mean, you kind of have to, or else you're gonna get hung up. Feels good. Definitely better. Better, we're getting closer to that keeper size. Oh, it's a good fighter. Oh, look at that. Barely hooked. A little, a little fatty. Caught a few times. Nice. Oh, the spot move paid off. Let's see if I can get a few more casts in. I gotta go here soon. God, it's sad to leave this bite. It's always nice when you set the hook and you feel that, oh, just that. little dinker there's my little dinkers miss you guys whoa, whoa, whoa. oh he's a little little guy I 
make the sound effect makes it go a little further. So we ended up pulling up to this spot here. Um, I ended up pulling to this spot here. I ended up being a little bit of a honey hole. Wasn't recording earlier. I didn't realize my GoPro was off, which is unfortunate because uh, we caught like three or four fish in a row, like literally cast after cast. And uh, so here I just missed the fish, and he actually comes back and gets it. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to my GoPro audio, so I apologize for that. But uh, this guy was a little bit better, about a little pounder probably. But man, today was fun. I mean, I was only able to be here for about two hours and probably caught easily over 20 fish. Um, well, this video is kind of long, it's not a lot of giants or anything, but it's fun. Kind of the whole point of this video is to show you the power of the Ned Rig. And this rig is so good, man, I'm telling you, I fish as a co-angler at uh for BASS this year in uh the New Mexico qualifying division and uh this ended up winning me first place at Navajo Lake and uh, I think I caught one fish on a drop shot and all the rest of our fish the whole weekend were on Ned Rigs me and my boater and man we had a blast I mean this bait is killer uh, so if this doesn't this video doesn't sell you on this bait I don't know what will um this is one of those baits living in New Mexico, uh, starting out bass fishing that I found that this thing just produces. It's a lot of fun. It's a fun bite. As you can tell, a lot of these uh, fish are pulling drags because I have my drag set real loose. And, you know, it's just a light wire hook. There's a lot of a lot of vegetation and stuff and fishing light line. And so didn't want to lose any fish. So had that drag set. Plus, it, you know, makes it fun. Let them fight a little bit, play the fish a little bit. Um, but it was a lot of fun. The school of babies. Look at that, Still throwing down, bro. He's gonna be a 10 pounder one day, boy. Don't you worry about it. And every time, I mean, almost every time we get him right in the top of the nose. That one had some weight to him, though, for being a little guy. But right, his head shakes like crazy, man. This little guy's throwing down, dude. That's throwing hooks with me. He's a little better than the rest. A little bigger. That came right out all tension. She is a chubby one. Look at that belly, man. She's a chubby little one. What is a little female or what? Or just a fat little piggy? I don't know what it is. Like this this whole area over here. I've just been like crushing them all day. I want to know like so bad what's under that water. Here's one. I got to do a little bigger school. I mean, it's not a much of an upgrade, but it's an upgrade. Like, not much at all, but still, little guy's got some weight to him. Right in the meat, right in the meat. Jeez, sorry, bud. You were hooked real good. I was gonna say I wanted to move, but why move? You're catching, even if they're small ones, I mean, who cares? I ain't gonna, having a blast.
Oh, it feels better. Uh, stuck in the weeds. Not a bad one, though. Oh, he's got some little chubby guy. He's all right. Oh, no, not bad at all. On the bottom of the lip. Another fatty. It's the tiny. Just a fat little fish. We've got to be. I mean, she's probably close to 20 fish. Swack it. It's awesome. Too cool. I know there's a big one, man. We just. It's got to find that one right spot. I mean, there's all these reed lines over here that are awesome. I mean, just beautiful looking stuff over there, but you can't problem is you can't get over there. Not from the bank, definitely. See, the thing is, I don't know if they allow kayaks on this place or anything. Not that I own a kayak, but I tell you, I've seen some giants in here, and it'd be worth a kayak, man. It'd be worth the price of a kayak to get on a few of those. I'm telling you. It's so funny how bad, how like tempted I am to change lures, and I, it's like, why you're catching fish? It's just, that's weird. It's just how people are. ADD, I guess. It's my ADD. I caught a big bluegill earlier. I didn't get on footage either. It was a, you know, a tank bluegill, man. Sometimes this little bait will catch you everything, all sizes. I've caught pike on it at Navajo. It's just a cool little bait, man. You have video evidence that this bait works. Like, if you don't believe me by now, go buy 10 packs of this right now and go hit your favorite fishery. If you don't catch, the fish ain't biting, dude telling you dude this bait is the deal bro it's funny trd that's what it stands for the real deal the z-man makes it if you didn't know stuck in some weed Taking off. Oh my god, look at that bluegill. Oh my gosh. Dude, holy crap. Look at that thing, dude. Holy crap, bro. That is a giant bluegill. I told you. Okay, so the scale's not working, but we're gonna release this big old giant. Huge. That thing is massive as heck, bro. Yeah, the scale was, uh, I'd, it's all jacked up. It's on kilograms. I'm not that smart and don't know how to work it, so. Oh well. Let's go back to catching fish. That was awesome, dude. That thing was huge, dude. Maybe I'm a noob, but that's the biggest blue I've ever seen by like by far. That was freaking crazy. It's the fun thing about fishing small baits is you just catch so many different species. And the thing is, this is so like there's nothing intimidating about this lure at all. It's just like why wouldn't a fish hit it? And that's why it's so effective. It's like, pfft. it looks so natural, so harmless.
Ooh, dang it. This guy's got a swivel down his throat. Here's my personal opinion. I got it out. It's pretty gross. Uh, I don't know who ties a wide lock, wide gap hook to a swivel, but uh, I guess it works. He ate it. But uh, yeah, these new hooks, man, these things don't rust out, man. So this is not like, looks like a little trigger craw. So sucks for that guy, but I got it out. So that's awesome. The homeboy had the equivalent of like a, I don't know, a freaking anchor in his throat and he's still trying to eat. That's in case you were wondering if largemouth bass were aggressive. <laughs> there you go. Jeez. I got a sore throat and I'm in bed. This guy's. Dude, it's sitting as soon as it hit the water. Wait for a little honey hole. Quit. Wow, I didn't even feel this guy. Nothing down his throat. Feels like another decent one there. No, just a feisty one. Nice. Perfect. Look at that right on the right on the nose. Right where you want them. A little pretty one. Oh, very graceful. Very graceful. I've used this one bait, one hook one knot all day long so cool pretty fish all right gotta go that was a fun two hours jeez productive a lot of fish a lot of fun thanks for tuning in guys we're out of here we'll uh, see you guys in the next video